happy Thursday, kicking off another vlog from the floor. I just did a little like get ready with me in my last vlog, which I'll have linked if you haven't seen, but just talking through. Um, I toured a little townhouse in the last video and was just talking through my thoughts while I did my makeup. But, kicking off this vlog, it is Thursday around noon. I thought we'd carry this vlog into the weekend. I'm so tired today. I'm about to go make some avocado toast, have a very late breakfast. It's probably why I'm tired. I've just been like doing, like jumping straight into like work tasks in the morning lately and then eating a little bit later because I don't feel hungry immediately in the morning necessarily. But I think maybe that is, it would make sense if that's taking a toll on my energy levels because I haven't eaten. Just wanna do a quick intro to this video. I'm about to film a summer favorites video and a and a Feeling tired this morning? I don't think my personality is really here. We will see. Curled my hair a little bit. Before we get too into this video, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Scentbird. If you're not familiar with them, they are a monthly subscription service that allows you to try a ton of different fragrances and something I've been I guess, I don't know, I wasn't aware for some reason for the longest time. Like, I've just been using the same perfume, like, honestly, I don't know, ever since, like, sixth grade, and I just kept buying that one over and over. I never really, like, put any other thought into it. I've been wanting to, like, explore different perfumes. I don't know fragrances when people say them. And I've been wanting to just, like, test out what I actually like the smell, because I just love when other people smell good, and I'm like, do I even like why I smell like? With all that said, I'm super excited about Scentbird, because it allows me to try a bunch of different fragrances without having to actually commit to, like, buying a full, like, standard size bottle, I guess, and like investing in that, especially if like you want to switch it up month to month, you know, maybe you have a signature scent you want to do all the time, then maybe you want to mix it up. These are the ones I got this month. And they have these cases. I have a ton of different colors of them that the samples go into. This is what it looks like when it's inside and you just spray it on and then it just twists down. So super cute and compact. And then to release it, you just twist a little extra and it'll click and you can pull it out. So the ones I tried, some of these I've heard of, some I have not. First, we just have the Harmonist Hypnotizing Fire. I have this Enchanted Flora one. I feel like this is a classic that I actually have never even like smelled, <laughs> but it's just the Gucci Bloom fragrance. I really like that one. And I got Red Panda by Sanctuary. And then lastly, we have Bright Crystal by Versace. So. As you can tell, we have designer fragrances in there. Like this is also a good way to try out brands you might not know. And each month costs $15 and you get a 30 day supply. So as you can tell, this is very generous. This is much bigger than like a standard sample size fragrance. You get 120 to 140 sprays in here. If you wanna try more a month, you can also upgrade to get two or three. They also each come in a little carrying case. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite perfume. It is probably on Scentbird. They have over 600 brands to choose from and they work directly with all of the brands. So these are all authentic. If you wanna try it, you can actually get 30% off your first month with the code Morgan. So that'll be only $10 and you can have a month supply of a really nice perfume. So thank you again to them for sponsoring this. I will have my link below as well as the code. Now about to film my Q&A. Update on how our little roasted chickpea snack came out from the last vlog. It's two days later. I've just been storing these in a little Tupperware container in my cabinet. They're still really good. So check out the last video if you want to see how I made these. Morning, happy Saturday. I'm heading out the door to go get brunch with Adrian, my old roommate. I feel like a lot of the people I hang out with these days are not on YouTube, which is why I don't really like on the weekends um, vlog much with them. But um, I thought since it's Adrian, we shall. So I normally wear like black things at night. So I thought we'd go with this little like colorful scarf top just since I'm only going to a brunch. Favorite American Eagle jeans, little daytime heel from Princess Polly that I've been loving. And then when I was in Seattle, I just got this bag. Um, that I thought would be a cute little daytime bag from a Zara. So, I'm going to turn it on my bond. Oh, it's sweaty. I'm just toasty. Picking up this lovely Saturday with my old roommate, Adrian. Oh my god. Adrian, how's life? Life is good. It's not as good as when I lived with you. Aw, it's honestly, <laughs> yeah. Anyway. We are at Italy. I don't care. It's the cutest little rooftop. This is where I brought my GF the other day to like kick off her birthday week. We saw that in another vlog, but every now and then they like send me a little email and invite me in for a free brunch or dinner and we just love that. So They have like different little pop-up bars from time to time. Um, so they try to like predict your drink based on your sign. So basically the most LA thing ever. <laughs> Mine would be Aquarius. Rosemary, I'm, I'm down. I feel like I'm about to like take a test. Like, okay, and go. Why did I just write my full name? <laughs> Adrian Wiederfinch. I don't even go by that. <laughs> Literally, it's taking the SAT right now. <laughs> Here they are. Happy Monday. It is a very exciting Monday. <laughs> we have a little iPhone clip right now because I'm in a bit of a rush. Um, but today I thought it was going to be a very chill Monday. My girlfriend has the whole weekend off, or the whole weekend, the whole week off work. Um, so I'm going to be working here and there, but I 
made it a point to get really ahead on most things. For the most part, I don't have a ton of work, so it's gonna be a really fun week ahead. Welcome to another little week in my life vlog. But today I thought it was gonna be just like a chill, like kind of catch up on things day, which it is. I have a couple errands yeah. to run, but very last minute that this has me so excited right now is I'm actually going to be touring a couple of apartments today as well that I just set up this morning. One of which is like my favorite based on online. I found this place a month ago before I honestly was even like seriously considering moving. I found this one place. It is like the prettiest thing I've ever seen from the photos. There's not a ton of photos online, but I can just tell it's like just the cool, I don't know. I think it's gonna be beautiful. So I'm so excited about that one. And then I'm touring another place after that. Both of these would be one bedrooms. Uh, we whipped it through Alfred this morning and she knew, um, the guy working so he gave it to us for free which was so nice because we went there in the first place because i had a gift card so it was going to be free anyway so now it's like it was like double free <laughs> but yeah hope all of you guys had a wonderful weekend i did hardly anything this weekend literally just like coming off those two weeks of travel I was so tired I really just wanted to like lay and watch youtube videos coming up this week i want to try to start cleaning out my closet a little bit as well i am going to be putting stuff back on poshmark for you guys so i'll have my poshmark username on screen if you want to go ahead and follow it some stuff will be listed i really don't even want to say when because i'm not sure but coming up stuff will be listed on poshmark again because i'm definitely going to be downsizing my closet so all of you guys are having a wonderful week and I'm excited. I'm so excited for this week. It's gonna be just the best week ever. <laughs> machine i apologize i was going to hold off on starting that but then i was carrying my sheets down the stairs as well as carrying my coffee down the stairs and the coffee without knowing because it was leaning up against me holding the sheets like spilled over a considerable amount of <laughs> my sheets that are white um so i thought i should just start that as soon as possible i'm about to go all this battery is blinking relocated hope all of you guys had a wonderful weekend i'm in a great mood today <clears throat> as i mentioned i kind of just the past week was just doing a bunch of fun stuff um yeah, 
you saw it. You saw it all. Fun trip to Malibu, just lots going on. I just wanted to update you guys on some clips I did not include of touring a couple places in the past week as well. Just taking advantage of like not having to go tour them by myself. So I showed in my last vlog, check it out if you haven't seen it. I toured, the first place I toured um, was this like three kind of four story even because they had a rooftop level, which was very nice, but um, like three, four story townhouse kind of near where I live. Then went on this past week, a couple other tours of a more one level experience. First I toured, honestly, just for fun. It's like no way in my entire life would I ever spend the money to live this place. And I knew that going into it, the prices are ridiculous. Even for like a one bedroom, it starts at like a bajillion dollars. But if you wanted like heaven forbid a two bedroom, you need like $14,000. Like I was, again, never in my life gonna live there. I just wanted to like tour it. That one was just for curiosity. <laughs> and you know what is just the frustrating part of any kind of tour is that the places just use like all the photos of what they show online the corner unit like in peak lighting edited even brighter like wide angle shot you know you get in there and what you're actually renting i just feel like is always so far different or so much different than what the photos are oh i just remembered i toured two places basically i toured one place that was like realistic budget wise that would actually be like saving money even so many brand new apartment buildings in la if you're looking around you need to find the new ones and like honestly going to make an offer because they all seem just like very flexible then i went to this other building that was in beverly hills i learned you're pretty much just paying for a location because it actually was very affordable i'd be saving money living there and the only issue there was that a that building wasn't even done and it didn't look like it was on track to be done by when she said it was going to be done <laughs> so it was kind of hard to like get a vibe for what it was like fully going to be like another thing there that wasn't ideal or maybe these were just the units she could show us because these were like the farthest along but they were all like overlooking kind of like a common area i just feel like it's just gonna be a loud situation you know i like my i like my quiet <laughs> i don't really want to be in a unit like facing in and all the ones we saw were like that that place it just seemed like you know four walls that could be anywhere else so like you know i guess solid option why not you know i left i just didn't love it so that was that no i wasn't gonna live in either of those and then my most recent, so this is Friday, and this one was like moving along. Like I really thought I was gonna go with this one. I toured these apartments that were, again, it's like a new building there. Like every single place I've toured I've realized is literally brand new. Apparently a lot is brand new in LA. I toured this beautiful place. Originally I was like, I don't wanna be in a building, so I was so like townhouse, like whatever. But found this pretty apartment building as far as like apartments go. It was literally beautiful. And all of their two bedrooms are corner units. They had these like beautiful floor to ceiling windows that like curved around on the corner, like had a, a patio, like the view is like amazing. The only, I guess, con of that place was going to be like the space. It was kind of a lot of things crammed in, which I at that point had come to the like conclusion and like had accepted that like I'm probably gonna have to get either my choices are like sell a bunch of my stuff, like sell my outdoor furniture, sell like, I mean, my dining table, like stuff that I've really invested in, which I don't wanna do. Like I've talked before about how like I've, spent so much on furniture because these are things I want to like have honestly for like forever and I feel like that's a good thing to invest in and again I had thought like I'd be here for a couple years and that like wherever I moved would like everything would fit or else like I wouldn't have even gone into getting all the stuff but I kind of accepted that like whatever I get obviously isn't gonna have an outdoor space to like have all my outdoor furniture like probably not gonna have room for a dining table probably not gonna have room for like these west elm shelby things I accepted i was gonna get a storage unit looked into that for the space i would need is like i mean i'd be adding a solid like 250 300 on top of my rent so that's basically i'm having to like factor that into like my rent budget as well but i'd accepted it and i went around and i was like you know what this is like a great option whatever and then I like measured the bedroom and like my bed's not gonna fit in it. I don't know what it was about that, like that one thing, even though like I was already not gonna be fitting a bunch of stuff, but something about just thinking like, I'm not gonna fit my bed sent me down that like sad spell again. Like I felt when I toured the townhouse, I was like going quick with this girl. Like I toured it one time, came back later actually to measure. So same day, toured it a second time to measure. And that's when I was like, okay. I really thought like I even took a video thumbnail, like a whatever little clip thinking like I was gonna make a video being like, I'm moving, this is where I'm moving to. Something in my gut, it just didn't feel right. I was like, I have never moved into a place I've not been just like ecstatic to move into. And then I started thinking, well, maybe I'm just not gonna feel like that because like this house is like hard to top, you know? So I was like, all right, well, maybe I just need to like pick the best option that like is beautiful and I can like rationally acknowledge that even if like I don't feel like over the moon excited about it I gotta move somewhere so I was just kind of like all right this is where I'm gonna move we're going through it I've like negotiated negotiated my rent down like all as well it's gonna be like a high up unit it's gonna be pretty and my lease isn't up till October 1st and she was like down to like lock it in and hold it for 60 days which I feel like is just like so rare but again it's like what is that to them like these this place is 
literally so new like they're they need to lock people in so but like something in me i was just holding off i was dragging my feet on applying and then over the weekend i found i found what i think is it and i'm not gonna say it yet until it's locked in i'll show up in my next vlog but that's kind of like my touring experience these are the places i've seen over the weekend i went in something and i was just like i love this this is the first place i've been that i have like no reservations i have no gut feeling that's like am i gonna like being here another thing about the apartment building it was i mean even that apartment building was bougie like literally for residents it's like valet and i was like can can you self-park like to me that seems more convenient not having to like wait around on valet i can just come and go as i want and it's like literally not even an option to like you they have valet like that's it it just seems like a hotel and like that's kind of how i feel about apartments i just feel like they seem very hotel and i want things to feel homey and like that's why i like living in townhouses and homes it just feels like my own space feel like i can come and go easily and so i found something that like checked off literally every literally everything like i don't have to get a storage unit i'm saving i'd be saving money living there i can fit all my stuff i'm gonna wait until it gets locked in that is what i'm hoping for i think i found the spot i finally i didn't think i was gonna find it i found something that gives me that just like so excited to move so updates come in the next vlog but as for right now it finally feels real that i am moving even though obviously I knew that I was. <laughs> I just love the process. I loved this a year ago. Like maybe I'm gonna turn into someone who just like moves around all the time because apparently I really like the thought of cleaning out and packing and like moving in and like organizing a new place and decorating. We're gonna be back to moving vlogs. Oh.